Welcome my artistic friends to Monet Cafe. In this tutorial, I want you to just take a deep breath and enjoy like I did the beauty in my own backyard. As artists, we're very fortunate to be able to have eyes that can see beauty all around us. And sometimes we can be surprised that it's closer than we might think. So for this video tutorial, I literally just went in my own backyard and uh, enjoyed the beauty that was around me, even though they were weeds. And uh, I hope you'll join me as I create a painting from one of these reference photos. Here are my pastel selections, various colors as you can see, and also various types of pastels. You can see some of my other videos where I speak of different pastel varieties. In this video, I'm going to be using an underpainting that uh, utilizes acrylic inks. I love these inks, and this is one by Dayla Rowney, uh, and the color of this one is Purple Lake. I like it because it's nice and dark. So all I do is I just put a few drops. You kind of judge that based on how much you're going to be using or the size of your painting. And I'm applying this to you art sanded paper. If you've worked with pastels very long, you know that sanded paper is the best. Uh, I'm using some water, another dish for kind of diluting and rinsing my brush. Uh, sometimes I want the um, outcome or the result not to be as dark, um, so that the water helps with that. So I added some water to it. Now you can see how it's much lighter and dripping. Uh, the inner parts of that tree, as you can see, are almost typically the bottoms and the, the insides of the tree are usually darker um, than the, uh, the branches and the foliage on the outside. And typically the foreground, uh, where it's closer to you, is going to be darker. So you can see I'm using that uh, purple lake, even though it looks like pink here. <laughs> um, it's uh, actually interesting because I'm going to be using another uh, color in a minute, and you'll see how they combine to make a, a neat purple. Now, that's just a fan brush I was using. Um, I, I wanted a little bit more um, to be able to have more of a specific stroke, so I used a smaller fan brush just to get in a few more, you know, a little this, that, and the other. And in this, you want it to be loose. Uh, embrace the drips, um, and, uh, and freer is better. Now, I let these flowers, weed flowers, inspire me for this painting. This is the first time I've ever done this. A couple of things that are first for me in this video is I actually use one of the leaves to dip into the acrylic ink. I had a little interesting time finagling it around, but uh, dipping it into the ink and using it to make some random markings underneath. Now sometimes, you never know when you're you know, going about doing an underpainting, um, or at least I don't, sometimes all of this gets covered up uh, by the pastel, sometimes it doesn't, but I often use things just to inspire me. And I like to encourage uh, people in our, on our channel and in our Facebook group, Monet Cafe Art Group on Facebook, that this is about the experience more than the finished product. I think that's kind of my motto. <laughs> and I know a lot of you guys are embracing it because when we start to get too serious about everything, we sort of um, squeeze the joy out of it. Now here's the other Dayla Rowney acrylic ink. This one's called Dark Green, even though when you add water to it, it looks very teal or like a cyan blue. Now I'm just using water here, uh, brushing it on almost like you would do a wet uh, underpainting or a wet on wet painting with watercolor. Um, so it just kind of gives it a channel for that ink to run through. Okay, see how it's much lighter? And the sky we know is going to be most likely the lightest thing in the painting. So I want to keep it light and airy. Now you can see where that um, is combining with the, the purplish pink to make purple. You see that middle area? It's kind of turning into a purple, which is beautiful. Um, now I'm adding more of that in a darker, less concentrated form to the middle of the tree. If you squint your eyes and look at the reference photo, you can see that the tree is indeed the darkest thing in that painting. And some of those foreground roots down deep where the earth is. So um, that's the point of the underpainting. I have a lot of questions about that. It's really just kind of gets you established. It's like a road map for your painting. Now this is another first. I thought, why not surround myself with the beauty of these little gems. They were weeds, but I love them. I love weeds because they're wild and determined. <laughs> and um, so I just taped them right up on my easel. Now the board is dry now, or the UART paper is dry, and I am reinforcing the darks in the center of that tree. 
And then you'll see as I reinforce some down by the, uh, the roots of the grasses in the foreground too. So always focusing on value. Value is just the lightness or the darkness. And if you get value right, you can get really creative with color. I stayed pretty true to the color in the scene um, with the, um, the grasses and the little pink flowers. I decided to do away. I was playing around with the, the white um, uh, dandelion looking flowers. And I decided, uh, I don't know why it wasn't working or I wasn't doing it right. So I brushed them out and just went with the, the pink, the little pink flowers all over. They look so free. Oh, and also, if you would like to have access to this reference photo for this particular painting, I am now providing them, when they're my own photo, uh, in my, uh, on my website, which is SusanJenkinsFineArt.com. The first tab you see is As Seen in Monet Cafe. If you click on that, you will be able to see a little thumbnail of each video and download the actual um, uh image, the reference photo that I use. Now because they're my photos, I'll only do that when it's the photo that I took. When they're my photos, uh, I am giving you the rights to use them. Okay, I've had some people ask, if I create a painting from this, can I sell it? Absolutely, you can sell it and uh, I'm giving you the free rights to, uh, to, act, to utilize my photo. Now I'm not going to do much more voiceover for this video. Um, I've sped it up just a little bit. You can still see the techniques but I want you to do exactly what I said at the beginning. If you choose to watch the rest of this to learn, just take a deep breath. I will play the relaxing music. Um, if you'd like to know what the music is, uh, if, I, if it's a song that I have to give the artist credit, I do so in the about section of this particular video or whatever video has the music. So um, anyway, it's a beautiful piano um, song and some of the bird sounds. So take a deep breath, relax, and the next time you paint, don't worry about it being so um, perfect or uh, having a finished product that you're going to show off to everybody. Just enjoy the moment and uh, certainly get outside and enjoy the beauty that we have all around us. All right, guys, enjoy. Enjoy.